sister sledge Meghan Markle's sister Samantha slams bull asterisk asterisk claims she spread vicious lies and accuses Duchess of trying to destroy this family Samantha has challenged Meghan to take a Jeremy Kyle style lie detector test about the claims she made in a furious rant. Samantha boldly challenged the royal to take a Jeremy Kyle style lie detector test over claims that left her crumbling inside. Samantha told Daily Star, she says she doesn't know me and she lied and said she was never close to my dad. If pointing out that what she says are all lies breaks your heart, too bad because what I'm saying is the truth. I would challenge her to take a lie detector test anywhere on the planet with investigators that are not paid by her to skew the results. Quite frankly I had faith in her on and off to do the right thing by her dad but I'm sick of the bulls asterisk asterisk t. Nobody is trying to get close to her but she's not going to ghost, insults, and destroy this family and skip on her merry way without the truth being revealed. Earlier this month, the Duchess of Sussex hid out at the 54-year-old in a letter, which she wrote to their dad Thomas describing how their antics have been affecting her. Meghan wrote to her dad on a daily basis you fixated and clicked on the lines they were writing about me, especially those manufactured by your other daughter, who I barely know. You watched me silently suffer at the hands of her vicious lies, I crumbled inside. Markle penned an emotional letter to her estranged daddy after he failed to attend her wedding telling him he had broken her heart into a million pieces. The existence of the message emerged last week after five close pals of the Duchess of Sussex decided to give anonymous interviews to a U.S. magazine bashing Thomas Markle, 74. They claimed that Meghan wrote to her dad because she wanted to reconcile privately and was distraught over his constant media interviews. Now in an astonishing public rebuttal, Mr. Markle has once again chosen to speak to a newspaper and reveal the contents of his daughter's private message. Thomas told the Mail on Sunday that the gut-wrenching five-page letter was not an olive branch but a dagger to the heart which left him devastated. In a handwritten note, sent in August, Meghan addressed her father as daddy before accusing him of breaking her heart into a million pieces by allegedly lying in the press and publicly attacking her husband Prince Harry. She writes that Thomas has caused her unwarranted pain while claiming that he never called her to say he wasn't coming to her wedding. Mr. Markle, a former Hollywood lighting director who now lives in Mexico, did not attend his daughter's nuptials after he suffered two heart attacks days he was set to walk her down the aisle. He has continually told news outlets that he has been shunned by Meghan and Harry something which the Duchess claims is a lie in the letter. She accuses her father of being ungrateful for money she has given him and for not accepting her offer of help during his health scare last year. Meghan writes that she learned of Thomas' heart attack through a tabloid a revelation which she calls horrifying. She writes, I begged you to accept help we sent someone to your home. And instead of speaking to me to accept this or any help, you stopped answering your phone and chose to only speak to tabloids. The Duchess adds, If you love me, as you tell the press you do, please stop. Please allow us to live our lives in peace. Daddy. You broke my heart she tells her father to stop lying and to please stop exploiting my relationship with my husband. Meghan also hits out at the manufactured lies by Thomas' other daughter Samantha Markle who the former Suits actress says I barely know. In his response to Meghan, Thomas claims he was in hospital with my second heart attack when his daughter and Harry sent help to his home. He also denied publicly attacking Prince Harry, writing, the only I said is if we had a disagreement, get over it. But despite his daughter's anguished request for him to stop speaking to the media, Thomas signs off his response to Meghan by asking her if she and Harry would pose with him for a photo for the whole world to see. He adds, if you and Harry don't like it, fake it for one photo. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.